Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 32 of Let's Play Xenogears. Alright, we actually made it onto this ship over here called the Thames, and unfortunately it's a very large place, and I have no idea what the hell we need to do. Hey, if you need something from my store, go talk to my stupid son. Wow, father of the year right there. <laughs> hey, come on in. Alright, let me see what you got. Fizzy Mensal? Oh wow, for only 50 gold, you get something that removes all status effects? White Star? Brown Star? <laughs> Brown Star just sounds like a bad time, hey, <laughs> you know, at Taco Bell. Uh, so I guess these are just for like, elements and stuff. And actual buffers. Increases defense. Alright, do we have anything that increases attack? I don't think such a thing exists. Well, I guess I can always just sell some stuff. Um, probably don't need that much money on me at one time. So let me just keep some of my gold nuggets for later. Oh, I didn't mean to leave. Great. <laughs> I want to keep looking around the armor ground to see what else we can get. I'm sure there's a lot of things to do just on this floor alone. Hello. Hey, welcome! Rare finds from the sea, bottom on parade. Ooh, what you got? Ooh, I can get like new types of weapons. <laughs> oh my god, look at this! A penguin coat and dervish dress. Pretty damn expensive. Also, I'm noticing that apparently there are... Ammo? So I'm guessing we're soon gonna get a character that uses a gun. Huh. Interesting. Defense versus Earth Elemental go up. Defense versus Wind Elemental goes up. They're 5,000 each. I guess I could get a dervish dress and a penguin coat for now. But I'll only buy like one of each. As much as I like to buy like a whole lot for say the other guys, I don't know when we'll be playing as them next. So where's my penguin coat? I can't believe something like this is actually a good source of defense. Where's my dervish dress? Oh, it's down here. Wow, Ellie definitely needed to defense badly. Holy crap. She was due for a bad time without it. Okay, let's see. There's some stuff going on here. Look at these pirates. Queen is so beautiful. Ooh, is that her? Wow, you suck! Why don't you come back when you've gotten a little better? You better practice somewhere other than Thames. What? You don't know what I'm talking about? Huh. I know you know what I'm talking about. No, I seriously don't know. Okay, she's not gonna say anything different. Alright, well I guess I'll just have to uh, find out what that is later. For now, I guess we'll just have to make do without it. Alright, oh. Sorry. Hey! I'm damn sure you like this! This is... Oh? Oh? No, I don't like it. Is what it is. Isn't this just great? Hey, wait a minute! This is not for sale. Sorry, I can't sell it. Uh-huh. I see. Hey, for being so young, you have good taste! Damn, this is... Is what it is. Isn't this just bad? Hey, wait a minute, oh my god, you're terrible. 
What can I get from you then? <laughs> Jerk. At least I can interact with a fair amount of things. That also pushes you around. Wow, that's interesting. Oh, there was a gold nugget over there. That did look a bit suspicious. Alright, so did I really get everything over at the supply ground? Because I know there was like a lot of things you can get. But I'm just wondering if I did get everything. This new job the Ethos sent me on is my first big job. I'm a little worried whether I'll be able to do it or not. They want me to go down deep and get something unimaginably big. Something awesome's down there. Is this the supply entrance? I think so. This is the supply entrance. Uh, I already told you that. Did I really get every treasure here? I just want to make sure. Because I know I grabbed a couple. But I feel like when I look back at the previous episode, maybe I didn't get everything. And I should have talked to more people, too. Oh, yeah! I don't need to do no job, boo. Oh, oh wow. Maybe you shouldn't say something like that near your boss. This gun is totally cool. With this, I can blow away any bad guy. Bam, blam, boom, boom. Just think about it gives me a rush. Um, huh. I see. Hi. Hey, pal. Listen to my problems. Sure. Until recently, I've always wanted to be a seaman and navigate the Thames. That was my plan. But looking at all that treasure and stuff being moved around, well, it made me want to become a master crane operator so I could control that machine at my will. What do you think I should do? Um, I don't know, what do you want to do? You want to be a crane master? Yeah, you're right, a crane master. Hold on, did I, that's not, not a box, that's a person. Hello. Whoa, customer. Ooh, what can I buy from you? Ah, place to tune up my gear. Um, yep, I do have access to this as well. Is there anything I can really buy for my gears? From the looks of things, probably no. I already got the 6100, which is as good as it's gonna get. I suppose the Vier is just highly upgraded, too. Yeah, I upgraded those earlier. Alright, that's good stuff. Oh my god, you can hit the barrels? I didn't know that. This is the supply entrance. I already t oh, did I already talk to you? I had no idea. It looks like I can go down even farther. Oh, wait a minute. I see a treasure chest over here. But I gotta get to the very bottom. How am I gonna do this? Maybe up these stairs, I guess. Find a way to sneak on through. Or maybe I'm supposed to go in this room. Yeah, I see some computer equipment. Oh, hold on, there's no railing here. Aha! That's how you get some treasure. Received a D circuit. Man, Faye's gonna give that D circuit to Ellie one of these days. Wait, what? I didn't say that. Well, maybe it's even, maybe it's good. Okay, let's see. D circuit. Increases agility in water. Wait, do I already have that? Or is that something I could have bought? Well, at least I got it for free, so hey, that works for me. And there's a box here to get you back out. Good. Good, 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 good. Oh, oh my god. These camera angles are not great. At all. So let me see. Is there like another treasure? I'm 
seeing what look, looks like a barrel. Oh! Okay, I didn't even think it was right here. I just jumped because I knew I could actually bop it, and it turns out it was right on top of that. That is uh, pretty interesting. Well, at least I got everything. Wait a minute! You want me to show you? Show me what? For real? Sure. All right, I'll teach you. What are you teaching me? You thought I'd battle right off? Get real. Only the fast do well at this game. It's a card game for men of the sea. Card game? Oh my god, why does each RPG have to have like a card game? I'll explain the rules to you. First, I deal you and your opponent 26 cards each. Then I'll place four cards in front of each player as your current hands. Uh, K834, and he's got 5432. And then I place another card on the left hand side looking from your viewpoint. Up to here, I do automatically for you. But from here on, the game starts. You must take your first four cards and the remaining 21 cards and place them all on the top of the two center cards faster than your opponent can. Of course, there are certain rules for placing the cards. Place a card on top of another card if it's numerically in order. Like, one number higher. In this case, where there is a 3, you can play a 4. Or one number lower, so I guess that'll be the 3, that's right ne next to me. In this case, where there's a 4, you can play a 3. And I can play that Ace on top of that King. But if the numbers aren't in order... ...they'll get rejected. You can't play the card. But if there is a K, 13, and you can play an A, 1, and vice versa. I'll just put on the K there. And do that. Now I'll teach you how to control the cards. First, to move a card from your deck into an empty position in the hand of four cards in front of you, use left and right on the directional pad to pick the position. Wait, to move a card from your deck into an empty position in the hand of four cards in front of you, use left and right on the directional pad to pick the position. Then use either the square button, triangle button, L1, or R1 to place the card. Oh my god. I'm better off just using L1 and R1. And to play a card, move on top of the card you want to play. And press the triangle button or R1 to play on the right. Or press square or L1 to play on the left. Oh my god, this is... There's so many rules! Of course your opponent is also playing cards. Wait, if they're playing cards, that can fool up my strategy. So I guess we have to keep going until we use our entire deck. What if neither of you can play a card? Even after replacing the set of four cards in front of you? In this case, there would be a call of 1-2, and a card would be played directly from your remaining pile of cards. One, two. If both players still can't play, this will be repeated. This is gonna be very annoying because there's so many things you have to keep track of. Like, not only your cards, you gotta remember to play your cards down, and you gotta watch your opponent to make sure that you can still play it soon. Or just wait for them to play, and then you can just steal. If there are no remaining cards on your pile to play at the 1-2 call, then the leftmost card from the set of cards in front of you will be played directly. 1-2. And... The first player to use up all their cards wins. In this case, you lose. Oh, one more thing. By pushing the select button, you can quit a game midday through, midway through. But of course, this will mean you lose. By the way, there are lots of good players on board the Thames. How about starting off by playing my mate here? I'm guessing the controls for running are exactly the same. Alright, let's see how this goes. Start! Oh god. Okay. Oh, no, no, that one. Oh, no! 
Oh, he stole it from me. Oh my god, everything's just going so fast. Um, I think we're at a one, one, two, there we go. Oh, oh you, you ass. Oh god, I can't keep track. Oh wait, I could play that. Oh, I'm definitely not winning this. Oh my god. Oh my Oh my god! I'm too slow. I like how the music gets all so depressed when you lose. What the hell? That's so over dramatic for losing a card game. Huh? What a wimp. I am so going to be your, be your mate. I don't know, does it really matter if Ellie plays? I guess if I lose again, I'll just play as Ellie. Oh god, one, two. Oh god, I'm stuck again! Mother, father. This is a terrible game. Uh, I think I'm doing a little bit better. that. Come on, give me something. If I had a K, I could have done this. Oh, there's a K. Come on, play the K. Oh, I didn't know that was going to work, but it did. Wait. Oh my god. Come on, give me a 10. Give me a 10. Me a ten. Come on. Oh, I won. Huh. Huh. That's it. Uh, I don't think you should brag. I'm just saying. But it looks like you gave me the victory. Darn, this sucks. But I'll give this to you anyway. Super goggles. He's like, eh, I don't want to look at you anymore. <laughs> Super goggles. Super goggles. Hit percent value plus five. That's not bad. Don't make me miss a little less. Alright, so I guess I can just get out of here now. Wait, how did I get out of here? Just through this door? I think it was through this door. Yeah, it was. Okay. Now, where have I not been? I don't think I've been to the sick bay. Let's check out the sick bay. And I might see that, uh, queen again? Since I played a little bit of that card game. Alright. What? Are you injured? No. Then you have no business here. Out! Get out! Jeez, only drunkards and bullies come here. Wow. This is a terrible place. <laughs> Alright, can I talk to you? You're a drunkard, right? The wind is calling my name. Uh, and we got a girl that's delusional. Wow. Just one thing after another. And I guess I will leave this place. Oh. Uh, Go to the deck. Let me talk to that missus again. I did win a game. I can show her the super goggles as proof that I won. That is if she'll actually still face me. 
Or maybe I still can't do it yet. So I just gotta find what looks like a crowd. Oh, there she is. Why don't you come back when you got a little better? Oh. I already played a game, though. So I guess I haven't played enough. Alright, well, I guess I'll just go to a different location. I guess I didn't go to the beer hall. I can try the beer hall. Hey. Where's the... There it is. I'm gonna take a sip of my tea while I wait. Hmm. Good old Moroccan mint. Well, this is a weird-looking beer hall. Why is there a kid here? Hey, man! I've got a cure for drinking too much. Um, uh, menthol. Uh, okay, thank you. Much appreciated. Men are stupid. They're so happy with that crap. What crap? I've never been on dry land since I was born. Think about it. You have dirt on your feet. How can you do that? I don't know, I'll just walk on it. Nope, I'm not trying to drink. Well then, what are you trying to do then? There's nothing better than a drink after work. Hey, I've never seen you working around here. Oh, well, don't worry about the details too much. What is work? Kids these days are such wimpy drinkers. Oh, you guys are a bunch of bad influences. Do it. Don't regret it. Why are some of y'all so cryptic? Oh my god, it's, it's this game again. You know what, Ellie? Why don't you take a try at it? Maybe there's a reason to play specific characters. Like, maybe they just run faster. Uh, this doesn't help. This also doesn't help me. Oh wait, yes it does! Okay, my reaction time is getting slightly sharper. Not as sharp as I would like it to, but I'll take what I can get. Right, give me a four. I'll take that, that'll work too. Like, I sh maybe I should focus less on trying to, like, uh, clear out a card right away or just add a new card and just clear the ones I know I can clear out. Maybe that was my problem the first time. Like, see? I'm doing a lot better. We only got three cards. Whoa, we all got three cards left. Oh, I lost. But it was close! It was oh. down to one card! <laughs> you know what, Ellie, you did pretty well. I think I'm gonna let you keep playing a little bit more. Oh, you're no competition. Well, excuse me then! Why do you look like someone from Final Fantasy X? I'll give her one more try, and if, you, if she just shits the bed, I'll just go back to Faye. Okay, I was getting kind of worried that I'd already lost. Like, what? Could you imagine this like an actual game? Like seriously. Oh come on! I had that. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Oh, this I might lose this one again. Oh, come on! Well, I lost. Oh. That was worse. Oh. I didn't even catch that for the first time she lost it. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, what? <laughs> Like, sometimes you can just get screwed by, like, the, uh, RNG. Alright, I'll give it one more try as Faye, and if I don't do it, then I'll just, like, try it off-screen to get the prize. Faye, it's your time. This is a chaotic minigame. Definitely not something from, like, a Final Fantasy game by any stretch. Ah, you piece of crap. Huh. You had to steal it from me. Uh, oh. God. I think I'm gonna lose this one again. Huh? Okay. Just don't give me anything to work with at this time. Come on, man! Yeah, I lose! Fudge! I'm doing worse now! I can't react to this Not stuff fast enough! It, it's just t tough! And then sometimes I play a card when I realize if I just played the other way, I could have gotten a bigger combo. And you know, it's easy to think that after the fact, you know, like hindsight's 2020 for a game like this. Like, I can't think about the strategy when the whole game is to be as fast as humanly possible. Alright, why don't you just give me a couple minutes, I'm gonna try this game again. Alright, a couple more tries later, and I finally won. I'm really glad this is free, by the way. <laughs> Could you imagine if it wasn't free? That I had to pay each time? That would be terrible. Premier shoes. Alright, are they worth it? I guess we'll find out. Premier shoes. Evade value goes up plus five. By five percent. You know what? That's not terrible. It's not great, but it's also not terrible. How come I can't get in any of this beer anyway? Whatever. Oh yeah, I already talked to you. I am the best, er, the best best, er, Thames best, er. Yeah, you're drunk. <laughs> um, let's see. There's another door right here. Did I come from here? No, there's a different area. Oh hi. You're the two winos who floated in with the gears. Oh, this is the bridge. I don't mean to talk to you yet. I don't really like wandering around. Gah! Well, don't take it so badly. For us, anything we pull out of the sea is treasure. And you're a really big, important treasure. You were really careful. Um, thanks for helping. What a pretty lady. Oh, don't make that face. I won't bite. I'll return your gears to you squeaky clean. Why are you being so kind? That's because... I am... A man... Of the sea. <laughs> You're probably starved. I'll get you some food. Hans! Oh, welcome the guests. You take care of the rest. Yes, sir. Just don't overdo it. Why is overdo it like two words in that case? It's not. Of course I know that. How can you be so calm? The captain and everyone are so irresponsible. 
Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let me go and get things ready. What? Who's that? They don't look like such bad people. Yeah, I've, I've noticed. Alright, so I guess we could have just taken the elevator or we could have taken, you know, the go from the door from the beer hall to the bridge. Because, you know, they got their priorities in check. God, I keep... I keep forgetting where the controls are for this thing. Alright, let me see if that missus is ready to go. Can I actually take her on now? Come to think of it, I think the captain went through the other door, didn't he? Come on, I've, I've won two matches. Hey, you look good. Wanna play? Sure. You'll be sorry. Alright, I'm guessing she's really good, so I'm probably gonna lose a few times. <laughs> Oh man, here we go. Three fours and a three. Oh yeah, thanks! Look at her go, holy crap! Ah, shoot. Oh my god, you almost had to button mash your way through this. I guess that's one way to do it, just button mash. Dude, she's just blazing quick! Oh my god, I still had cards in the deck and she kicked my ass. It's not over yet. Oh, you know what this means. I'm gonna cut away to when I finally win because this is just rough to watch otherwise. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hmm, you're not ready yet. Huh, this took me 12 tries minimum to do this, but I finally beat Queen. There was no point in me showing this because there's hardly any skill involved. Like, you just have to have the reaction time of somebody on all the Adderall in the universe. Just to be able to do this. Because sometimes when she plays a card, she knows where to put it before it's already on the way down. All this for a Death Blower 1, whatever the hell that is. It's probably something to do with maybe, maybe you learn Death Blows faster? Whatever it is, it's not even an accessory. So what the hell is it? Is it for a gear? Maybe it's a gear item. Okay, here we go. Enables level 1 death blows. That's... actually not bad. <laughs> the sim circuit. But I mean, I can get like level 1 death blows anyway. Sure, I had to build them up a little bit faster. So maybe I could let Fade try this out? Sure, it'll lower his response time. But I mean, it'll make him a little bit more reliable in battle. Was that worth putting me through so much stress and trial and error? To try and do this godforsaken minigame way too many times for my liking. It's already like close to what, 30 degrees in the house. So dealing with that kind of crap is not helping me at all. Alright, so if we're gonna be feasting, that means we gotta go to the beer hall. So why don't we head over there now? Because I need a drink. <laughs> Oh, there's the captain. He's just on this side. 
Don't mind me, I just took the more inconvenient way across. Took your wall? But things aren't ready yet. Hey, hurry it up! Don't make our guests wait. Sorry, there's no place to sit around here. But isn't the view just splendid from here? This beer hall is Thames Pride. You probably think it's a wee bit peculiar having a beer hall right next to the bridge. But tis fine by me. If you don't take time in life to enjoy a drink, you'll be swallowed by the waves of anxiety. I'm already anxious as is. But we don't have that problem. Thanks to this beer hall, everyone here is too slush to worry. Are you always wandering the seas like this? Well, normally. There is that crane that fished you out. We use that or the gears to pull up treasure from the sea. We're salvagers. Recently, however, there has been almost no treasure. Just little things. Since we started the big job, well, that's all we've had. Hmm, interesting. Big job? Oh, that's a job for the Ethos. The Ethos is planning a really big salvage next. I don't know the details, but looks like we'll be searching for some buried treasure. Why is the Ethos involved? Who knows, but we're dependent on the Ethos to buy our stuff. So it won't look good if we turn the job down. Well, dinner is finally ready. Let's eat. Please tell me we're not going to be having raw fish just because you're a walrus. You got sonar. That's not it. This type, it matches with the Ave pirate ship Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil? Wasn't she sunk in another battle and tossed around? Yeah. There's no record of its sinking. We were too busy fighting that red gear to try to confirm it. Then, there is a chance that it did not sink. I believe the data shows the Yggdrasil was the carrier for that gear. One moment. Yes, that is correct. Excellent! Give me the controls. Excellent? What are you planning on doing? Sink it, of course! She will never trouble the commander again. Wait! The commander's orders were to investigate the disappearance of that flying battleship. We can't deviate from our mission. Besides, we are low on fuel and need to refuel. We have enough. I'll take her down. Ugh. Once you start, there's no stopping you, is there? I hope you know that fighting in water is totally different than fighting on land. Of course! Sorry, Kelvina. God, it looks like uh, one of those dudes from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> At least right on around the face. And that ship looks like something out of, like, Darius or Star Fox. I know you haven't eaten for a while, but how can you eat so much? Because I haven't eaten for a while. <laughs> uh, this is great. This is great. I like how you eat. You weren't drifting around for nothing. Men have courage. And have appetites. Why did it be so overdramatic? Gah! Did we just shake? You're just imagining it. I don't think so. Captain! Your first mate is calling you. Got it. I'm on the way. Looks like something's up. Sorry, but I have to return to the bridge. <coughs> but please, enjoy yourselves. We easily can. Ellie? Is that a water spout? It's too far. I can't see very well, but it looks like a battle. Let's go to the bridge, too. Okay. 
That would be a good idea. But I think we should save and call it an episode because all this uh, card game madness exhausted me. So unfortunately we didn't get to do much out of, you know, getting some treasure. So there's quite a few, like a couple videos in a row, we didn't even have a single fight. But it looks like next episode we're going to be thrown right into one. See you later everyone, thanks for watching.